Good morning, Modern Steaders. This morning we're going to be comparing side by side two batteries. They're both four amp hour batteries. One's a factory DeWalt one, and the other one is a lithium ion made by Vannin. So let's do a comparison and see which one is the better battery. I've been using my DeWalt tools for a while now. They've been kicking butt at work. I'm loving them, but you never have enough batteries, and the batteries are the more expensive part. So today, while we're building this project, I want to kind of answer one question. We have a Vannin aftermarket DeWalt 20 volt 4 amp hour battery, and we also have the DeWalt 4 amp hour battery. Side by side, I'm going to pull up the 3 amp one. But side by side, the color's off a little bit on the buttons, but they both have the button to test them. And I was kind of wondering, they sound different. Can you hear that? The DeWalt ones click. The Vannon doesn't make a noise. Same with this DeWalt one. You hear a click. But on the aftermarket one, you don't. I was looking. This battery is made in Korea. This one is made in Malaysia. And this one is made in China. So they're all made all over the place. But what really had me surprised with the aftermarket one is they are identical looking. The labels are different, but the buttons, that color is pretty darn close to the DeWalt color. This color is a little different, you can see that, but side by side, you have where the labels go are identical. I was even cut on the plastic grooves, they're identical. The base looks identical. This one's shinier, but I think that's because we haven't used it yet. So, I was kind of wondering, I wonder if, I don't know, Vannon makes batteries for DeWalt, or if they're just that good at copying the one. So I thought, we haven't used this one yet, I charged it, and I charged the DeWalt 4 amp hour battery. We need to cut two bases, so I thought we'd do one with one battery, one with the other battery, and see if there's a difference. I've been using the DeWalt ones constantly at work, so I kind of got a feel for the batteries. They work great. The power stays through until they're dead. All of a sudden, like you'll get right to the battery being gonna die, and then you'll feel like the blade of the saw slow down a bit. But other than that, they go right to the end, so we're gonna try the aftermarket ones, see how it works. but. On Amazon, this battery is 78 bucks for one of them. This battery on Amazon's 37 bucks with shipping, both of them prime. So, half price. So if they do the same thing and they last, I might be getting a few more of these ones. Let's weigh them. I got a scale. They do feel different in weight. So let me go get my scale. So instead of just saying, hey, one feels heavier than the other, Let's put them to the test and find out. All right, let's turn on our scale. The aftermarket one weighs 1.3 pounds. I don't know how good you can see that. There. Let's try the DeWalt one. 1.55. Okay, so two ounces different. You can feel it. So it'll be interesting to find out what that is. Here's a 3 amp hour battery made by DeWalt. Let's see what this one weighs. 1.55. Okay. So it's not mattering if it's a 3 amp hour. Or a 4 amp hour battery. The weight's the same, but we go to Vannon. It's two ounces less. The reason we're making bases for our automatic feeder in water is, is I found 
that the jigsaw is the tool that uses the most power out of the batteries, the quickest. So I figured this would be a great experiment to test with. We're going to be cutting a lot of meat material going round so we could be putting good pressure on the tool. We have two. We're cutting both no knots, no knots. So I think the material wise we're not going to get any better. Alright, so we're going to be using our DeWalt 20 volt max jigsaw. Both these batteries I had in the charger this morning, so they've got a max charge. We're going to start with the Vannon. All three of them lights are lit up. All three lights are lit up on that one. Alright, let's find out. Before we get into our 6x6, let's move it. Boom! Look at that. So all in all, the saw had plenty of power with this battery. You couldn't tell that it wasn't a uh, DeWalt battery power wise. It's showing that we're missing one bar so far. Jigsaw performed the same whether we had the DeWalt battery in or the Vannon. This one is showing fully charged still, which doesn't surprise me. The Vannon, it's still showing that it's down. The performance of it was still there. So let's do some more cutting and see what happens. To finish off this test, we're going to use this 2x4 and see how many cuts we can do with it before the Vannon battery dies, and then we'll put the DeWalt in and see if we can beat that. I can feel it getting a little sluggish. Yeah. We're already down to our last bar, and I can feel it in the cuts. It's not performing the way that the DeWalt would battery would be performing. Let's finish it up and... Let's readjust. See if you guys can hear the difference now. getting weaker. It's only going to have a few more cuts left. Let's see if we can get one more. Oh wow. I'm surprised too. Come on, baby. Alright, we're 
we're gonna call it there. That battery's dead. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. I'm gonna pick up the cutoffs and we'll count them. All right, for the Vannon, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. All right, let's try finishing up with our DeWalt and see how far we get. I was hoping the Bannon was gonna do better. Let's see. I'm gonna readjust for the second time. Oh man, we're gonna be here all day. Ready? We're still showing two bars. I might not have enough two by four. Look at all them cutoffs. When you're comparing batteries, is there like a slaughter rule when you should stop? Nah, let's keep going and see how much better the DeWalt battery's doing. Kind of disappointed, I will say. I was hoping that the aftermarket one was going to perform better. For half the price, we could save some money, but it's not looking good for it. The DeWalt's starting to slow down a bit. Have to get another piece of 2x4. Battery life. What? Still two left, man. This is the last piece of 2x4 we have kicking around, so. Let's see what happens. I had a laugh to myself. I looked down, and then I looked over. Down, and over. And we're still one bar left. We already know who won, but I need to see how many more we can cut with the DeWalt battery. I'm getting a little tired of making all these cuts. Well, we gotta suck it up and finish it off. Not a problem. Try one more. Yeah, let's do it. All right, we're calling it there. That battery, we got some use out of it. Now it's saying dead. We gotta charge both of them. Oh, that's gonna take a little bit to count all those. 23. I don't know how many, but quite a few. Let's get started. All right, let's put them in a the bucket. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six. 
100. Two hundred and three, two hundred and four, two hundred and five, two hundred and six. I don't know if this is even fair. Two hundred and six. Look at that. That's just. That's just incredible. We cut all this, or we cut that. I think in the long run, if you buy the cheap battery, it's going to cost you like four times as much as the expensive battery in the long run. That's just crazy. That's like mind blown. They always say, you get what you pay for, and I believed it, but I never done a comparison like this. This is crazy. I mean, 206 and one round wheel, or a round wheel and 23. Well, a couple of ounces of weight wise, I don't know what, where that weight was, but it made a difference. That's for sure. That was very interesting and fun doing that comparison. I didn't think there was going to be that big of a difference. Thanks for coming along on our crazy journey with us. Now's a great opportunity to subscribe to our channel. While you're down there, turn on notifications and hopefully YouTube will let you know anytime we upload a video, go live or post something to our community tab. But remember, we post a video every day at 6 a.m. So we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Wow, what a difference. Well, I guess I should put a little disclaimer in on this video. I guess you could say this was a sponsored video. No, DeWalt didn't send us any tools. But the company Vannon that makes the replacement battery, they sent us the battery. They contacted us by email and said, hey, we want to send you one of our batteries. Will you do a video on it? I said, yeah, we'll come do a comparison video. So, I hope they like the video. Can't lie. I don't know. They might not want to sponsor the channel. Oh, well. At least we can keep our morals. Yeah. See ya.